grunt sprung a leak. Y'all stick around. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Clint. As y'all saw in the intro, grunt sprung another leak. Y'all been watching this channel for any length of time. You know that a little over a year ago, the OE radiator blew up in grunt. So we went ahead and replaced everything in the cooling system except the fan clutch. That's why I ended up having to do it this year. So when I was going through doing my research, deciding which radiator to get to put in grunt, I did a lot of looking, a lot of price comparison. I looked at all the reviews and all that stuff. And, you know, I chose this Mishimoto radiator. It wasn't cheap. Um, it was only about a hundred bucks less than a Griffin. We paid over 200 bucks for this radiator and you know, you can get a radiator for less than a hundred bucks. I wouldn't trust it very long, but you know, looking at the reviews, most of them were favorable, but the one common denominator in all the unfavorable reviews was that after six months to a year, radiator would start leaking just out of nowhere for no good reason at all. And that's what's happened here. So we've talked about it from everything I've seen and understand uh, the customer service through Amazon on this Mishimoto radiator is very good, but we don't want to mess with it and turn around and potentially maybe have another radiator that I have to replace in a year. So we're not even going to mess with all that. We're just going to order a Griffin and be done with it. Now I'm sure you're not going to be able to see this, but the radiator is leaking from right up in here, just below the middle area of the cooling fins. I thought that it was probably going to be leaking from around the tank, um, but that's not where it was coming from. It took me for actually, my son was actually the one to find it where it was actually leaking from. That's not a good deal when it's leaking from that area. I mean, a radiator leaking is not a good deal anyway, but the fact that it's leaking where it is has me concerned about quality. And the fact that so many others have had this exact same issue, I don't know, man. If you wanna take a chance on it, go ahead. Um, but for another hundred bucks, you can get a Griffin. So should've went that route to begin with. You live and you learn. But that's why I'm making this video. So someone down the line run, needs a radiator for a TJ, yeah, I'd stay away from the Mishimoto. I'm not gonna go through the removal process of this radiator. If you wanna see that, you can check the link right here. I've already done it, no need to do it again. Now some of y'all may have been wondering where I've been for the last month and a half. I've been here, but uh, I ain't been wheeling since June. Our second trip to Windrock, it's the last time we've been wheeling. The month of July was a complete shit show for us. It was not a good month at all. And I know some of our close personal friends, um, you guys know what was going on. Uh, Em and I got sick. Um, was it the Rona? I don't know. Could have been, might've been, probably was, but we didn't die. Uh, we had to put our boxer down. Uh, that was a, uh, that was a bad deal. But honestly, I just ain't been feeling it. I've not done anything to napalm and napalm's got an issue now. So I had the top off for about two months and last week just put the top back on and Em and I were going to the VFW last weekend and and I noticed my power mirrors didn't work either side. Also, the passenger side door lock, the passenger side manual door lock, it doesn't work either. So I got on the forums and did some research and apparently this is a fairly common issue, but I've had this Jeep three years and I've never had a problem with it. Um, anytime I've had the doors off, put them back on, everything worked like it was supposed to. So, uh, this looks like, based on everything that I've read, this is going to be an electrical friggin' nightmare. But, when I get to it, 
I'm definitely going to video it because apparently this is a common issue on the JLs. So we'll see how that goes. Let's look here, y'all. I have never, ever said anything political or politics related in any of my videos. I'm going to try to refrain from it in this one. All I'm going to say is that I feel like very soon we're all going to have to make a decision of whether we want to kneel or whether we want to fight for freedom. I know where we stand. Times are fucked up, people. If you ain't already got a plan or are preparing, you're going to be in bad fucking shape. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not done with Napalm. M's not done with Grunt. We got a lot of content to bring to y'all if we can. I'm going to try to go wheeling. Not this weekend because I got to work, but. Hopefully next weekend, we're going to get, get out on the trails and get to Uari. I'm going to try some different camera angles and try to get a little bit different viewpoint for y'all. To everyone who watches this channel, I want to say thank you. I hope y'all are well. And I hope y'all are prepared. Y'all remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till the next time, keep the shiny side up. Keep on.